Hello, I'm Robert Danheit, consulting chef instructor for Lee Kum Ki. Today, I'm going to be your guide on a culinary adventure into authentic Chinese sauces. We're going to talk about history, manufacturing practices, and uses of some of the most popular Asian sauces in the industry. The foods of Asia become a dominant force in the industry, and consumers are calling on the food service industry in every segment. Fast casual, quick service restaurants, casual dining, and fine dining. All of us need to react to the more savvy consumer. More savvy why? Perhaps it's because of all the travel that we're doing now. Perhaps it's all the television shows about food. Consumers are more savvy. Now they're not just looking for Chinese cuisine, but they're delving deeper into what regional cuisines of China. Also, all other cuisines from Asia, all the way from Japan and Korea, all the way down through Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore. They're becoming more mainstream and ending up on menus across the country. I'd like to focus on some principal sauces, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and hoisin sauce, since those are the backbone of Asian cuisine. Originally used in their traditional format, we're starting to see Asian sauces used in different ways by different chefs. So they may even take an oyster sauce, for instance, and mix it into ground meat for a hamburger or into a sausage filling, or as a marinade with some lemongrass and palm sugar. Move to hoisin sauce. I'm seeing hoisin sauce show up on barbecues, showing up in dressings. It's being used in all sorts of ways. And soy sauce, of course, we use it for dipping, cooking. Soy sauce is probably the most versatile, most used Asian sauce, period. We also need to address the broader trends of convenient foods being delivered at multi-points, food service, retail, on the go. Looking at healthier food in conjunction with a healthier lifestyle. And customization. People want to customize the food like they want it, and often now looking for bolder flavors. An example of customization perhaps is a Vietnamese restaurant, where on the table you'll have some chili sauce, you'll have the sriracha sauce, hoisin sauce. So as somebody's eating Vietnamese pho, they're adding a little bit of hoisin sauce or chili sauce. They may dip the meat in it, they may add it. That's your choice, customizing it the way that we want. And as the consumers are calling on us, the food service industry, Lee Kum Ki is here to answer the call and help you reach your goals. Let's start our culinary adventure in Guangzhou, China, in Xinwei, where Lee Kum Ki is their main manufacturing facility, over 1 million square meters. We're going to see how soy sauce is being made. 